this, uh, we're here at the, uh, at the West Watkins Research and Extension Center in Lane, Oklahoma, and I'm standing out in a planting of, of uh, buckwheat. Uh, the reason we're growing this buckwheat here is to provide a food source for honeybees. Uh, and is, I'm, I'm, I'm just surrounded by almost a swarm of bees here that are working on these flowers, so, so they're very busy. Uh, buckwheat is known to be a, a, a very good uh, food source for honeybees. It's, it, 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 it's a nectar that the bees can use to make a, what we consider a very good uh, quality honey. Uh, so that, that's, uh, that's one of the reasons this is here. Now, uh, this, this uh, planting of buckwheat is part of a, a, a much larger project. Uh, uh, he was not able to be here today, but I've been working with a local beekeeper, and uh, as I got to, as we discussed uh, honey, raising bees in this area, one thing he told, that he told me is we have a problem in the summer in that there's uh, many times we have long periods, especially in hot, dry summers, we'll have periods when there's just no, no uh, good food source for the honeybees. So, so what we started doing is, is kind of uh, thinking about some of the different crops that we could be growing throughout the, basically to, uh, to keep something there, uh, you know, maybe 10 months of the year that pollinators could be, uh, that pollinate, in particular honeybees, could be using as a nectar source to keep them uh, with a good food supply through all, throughout the months that they're active. So, uh, we st last year was the first year for this project. We, we put together a list of some of the different things we thought that might, might make good, uh, good crops to provide this, uh, this uh, nectar source. And we had several different uh, clovers last summer, one Hubam clover, uh, which is a white clover, some yellow clover. We also had some okra, a particular variety that we saw in the literature that was, that was uh, uh, supposed to be a good, uh, a good food source for honeybees. We had some southern peas, it was another one out there. Uh, and what else? And we also had some sesame last year. So uh, sesame is, is, is something that it, it not only has the flowers, but it also has nectaries that, that, provide, that provide nectar as a food source for the bees. So, so uh, again, after with the experience we've had so far, uh, what you're looking for what to, for this is you want a crop that, that will uh, be producing, that will be flowering and, and, and providing that food source for as long a period of possi as possible. But you also want something that you can plant and have flowers uh, there and, and available for the bees as quickly as possible. It, it's, the buckwheat is turning out to, to fit that, that bill very well. Uh, we, this buckwheat planting here is about... Uh, uh, I think maybe five or six weeks old, and as you can see, it, it's in full bloom and and and, and keeping the bees uh, bees very occupied. Some of the other ones we looked at again, the okra and the peas, they were much longer uh, periods to grow them up and get them to where they're flowering, and then they really didn't begin to have the 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 volume of flowers that you have here with the buckwheat. So, so what we're kind of looking at doing is is to use sequential plantings of buckwheat uh, throughout the throughout the uh, growing month. Begin once we get past the frost free period we can plant the buckwheat and and just you know every maybe three or four weeks plant an additional uh, additional area uh, again our our beekeeper our beekeeper keeps his bees down at the end of this field here uh, and he's been um, as you can see the the uh, the hives are getting taller he needs to add additional supers to to have to provide more space for the bees to be uh, for the colony to develop and to store the honey and also, uh, I guess I'm not a bee expert, so I can't tell you too much about that. But again, he's very, very happy with what he's seeing here with, with the uh, crops such as the sesame and the buckwheat. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.